In the previous tutorial, we installed UberMenu and we finished by replacing our existing menu with an UberMenu. In this tutorial, we're going to start over from scratch and we're going to build, we're going to recreate this, this menu from the UberMenu demo site. So we're going to start by going to Appearance Menus and we're going to create a new menu. Give it a name, click Create Menu. And what I've done is I've just created a page for each of the top level menu items. I'll add all of those to the menu. Reorganize them quickly. Now I'm going to save this menu and I'm going to replace the menu we were using, main menu, with our new menu, Uber menu demo. Just so we see what things look like now. Here are the menu items we just added. Now you can see they're all set up to be mega menus by default. We don't necessarily want that. So, for example, the home page shouldn't be a mega menu. Now you can see that the arrow has disappeared. Too. So let's start out by creating the flyout menu. For the flyout menu, we obviously don't want it to be a mega menu, so we uncheck activate mega menu. Now we're just going to add submenu items like usual. So just for demonstration purpose, I'm going to add custom menu items just like we have in the demo. And I'm going to pause the video and add the rest of them so you don't have to watch me do this part of the task. Now that I have all my demo menu items built, I'm just going to drag them into order. So in the WordPress menu system, you drag to the right to indent the item, which means it's a sub-item of the parent. So these items will be below the flyout menu. And these items will fly out from their parent. So again, I'm just going to quickly pause the video while I finish organizing these items. Okay, now that I've finished organizing my flyout submenu items, I click Save Menu. Now we'll refresh the home page. And you'll see here's my flyout menu. Now just to show you, if you wanted to turn this into a mega menu, Simply click Activate Mega Menu, save it, and then it's displayed as a Mega Menu. So we'll switch this back to a Flyout Menu. And since this is a Flyout Menu, most of the rest of these options you're not going to need. Most of these have to do specifically with Mega Menu submenus. So in the next tutorial, we'll move on to creating the Mega Menu submenu. I'm also just going to quickly switch our skin to the same skin on the demo site. I forgot to save this. Now you'll be able to see that we recreated the menu from the demo site. In case you're wondering, it's just using a slightly different font.